and where's our memory uh, do, 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 where's our thousand health and I believe it's around here I've gone back way too much yep I believe I went back way too much because I can't find health so this was C and I had a thousand health there C uh, we go back one B and a thousand's got to be around here doesn't it uh, I'm confusing myself a little uh, is that it? no that's a hundred that's my health and uh, let's change this to a a little bit of a weird number so nine nine six uh, but this is what it's like these are the facts guys when you're doing things like this it's a lot of trial and error so you're gonna kind of find yourself and see what you're actually doing here uh, so uh, I haven't actually gone anywhere so I want to go back to that initial place in memory I was oh I see what I did wrong I kind of oh no I didn't do anything wrong yeah so 996 we're still back to this I'm gonna try and go back by a little bit more now uh, so I'm gonna do this C uh, going back by C is not enough so I'm just gonna go uh, da, 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 da. so what I'm gonna do now is I want to show you how I found this so um, it's nothing far from trial and error so you just you throw that number in there and just do minus uh, let's say 8, eight uh, do 12 uh, let's say we do minus 8 that's uh, two positions uh, gives us that and we go here and we put that number in so as you can see we've got two positions up let's keep going um, we want to go quite a bit more so let's say we want to do um, one zero so that's ten uh, a it, it can be any number it doesn't really matter so just just go back if you like just do that do a zero there still got that there uh, D if you're good at hex maths you're much better than than me at this um, but um, I, I've gotten used to do this so much through the calculator that I don't really um, understand this well I understand it but I just don't like the um, the manual way of doing it uh, so D D zero uh, let's say we want to go back to zero, what's the one four zero obviously D um, uh, D we want to go C let's say C do we get an access so as you can see we, we can keep going back now what I know for a fact is I'm going to show you straight away what it is so I don't waste too much time obviously you guys move around and see like if I move around now nothing changes so I want to keep going back to find the coordinates so once again I want to go here copy I know that the value is C4 that's how much we need to go by so imagine we kept going back obviously I don't waste half an hour on this but if you kept going back um, so we go here and we still got our health uh, where's 996 here's, here's our health still so I had to go back enough space obviously you guys would keep going back by yourselves and you'd find it but as you can see I'm moving around and if you look at the uh, 004 address, if you look at these addresses for a second whilst I'm moving, you see that they change whilst I'm moving. See, I stop, they change. So I move, 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 move. And that's it. So let's, I, um, these addresses are usually floats, and um, I don't know if it's a, a bug with cheat engine, but they always put the wrong numbers in, so you have to change these to floats. Uh, but if you, once you're used to it, you'll know straight away if that's what they are. So change this one as well, because it might be useful sort of float. So as you can see, is the first coordinates are obviously our x and z coordinates. So I don't know if the third one is our y, but look, as I go up in the map, it increases. So y is our high coordinate. So if I go somewhere lower, it's going to decrease. It's going to be minus something. Let's see if I can find a lower area. Uh, I can't find anything. Um, so it's still zero. Um, yeah, this is one of those maps that's not very low. But as you can see, as I go up, it increases, and as I go down, it decreases. So as you can see, watch it decrease. The eight brings down to zero, and whatnot. So that's it. That's all you need to know is that that's our x. And a way of obviously testing this is going here and saying. So as you can see, there's an eight there. Let's change that to eleven, and that doesn't do anything because it probably wasn't very high. Um, so I'm going to do a jump here. As you can see, that cool jump. Hopefully I'll increase that enough to do it. And if it doesn't, if you can't write to it, it doesn't necessarily mean that um, it's not the right address. It just means it's probably a read only. Did you see that? So I increased that to 14. And that's definitely our... So let's say we modify one of these, 178 uh, eight or 177. Did you see that? It moved me to the side. And then if I change this one, it'll also move me. So if you're playing around with these, be careful not to put yourself inside uh, a wall or something because you might not be able to come out afterwards. And this is also the kind of information that you need to make a teleport hack. Anyways, so we've got all we need now. Uh, we can start here. We can start from this address. Okay. So we know for a fact by doing that, we know for a fact that um, uh, this address with F4, 
points to our health. But we know that our health minus C4 gives us all we need. It gives us our coordinates and so on, and we got all the information we need. So if you do F4 minus C4, and I know I say C4 because um, in relation to our new address, uh, our health is located at C4. So let's go down, try and find our health, 9 and 6. As you can see, C4. So our health position minus C4 gives us uh, the beginning of our coordinates here. It gives us this blank number, but that way we can start. I don't know what this number does, what this address in memory does, but I know what these uh, three do, and they give us our um, X, Y, and Z coordinates. So we start from here, we add C4, and that's how we know that's our health. So that means if we take C4 from um, this address, from that offset, we get our, um, our beginning of our, basically our player's base in memory. Okay, so let's go F4 minus C4. Um, I know the answer is going to be 30, but that's because I've done this way too many times. So uh, let's do uh, F4 for minus C4 equals 30. So we change the offset to 30, and now we'll start pointing to that there. See that zero there? We'll start pointing to that. And that's what we want as our base coordinate. So uh, you remember that number we stored earlier? We used F4 as an offset. We're going to change that to 3, 0. And we'll have to do that quite a bit. Oops do that quite a bit. Um, now let's move on to, uh, so we've done that, we've got our player's base, um, so we've got, uh, we've wrote the pointer down, we've done memory dissect, and we know uh, our, co our coordinates, that's the part the most interesting really. Now we've got coordinates, but if we don't know how to move the mouse around, we're screwed. So if you move your mouse around a little bit, you'll see that some numbers change, and these are the ones that keep changing. And mouse only has two coordinates, which is, uh, with, uh, sorry, <laughs> screw that up there, which is, uh, X and uh, Y, which is obviously height and um, across the screen. Uh, so we change these to float because I know they're floats. And uh, you know, it's all about testing things around, guys. Uh, sometimes you'll crash the game, sometimes you won't. It's fine. So uh, if we move this up to, let's say, 75, just to confirm, if you see it there, that would just increase. So let's say we move this to something like 15. See that moved across, so we know this is our x coordinate. Now, just to make sure this is our y coordinate, let's move this to say 33 and it went up on the screen, okay? And that's what we want. So, we know that from this information, we know that um, our, our coordinates are um, so no, 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 that's fine. Uh, we know that at four pl uh, base, player base, player base. We only call it player base because you know that's where we're starting. That's where we're starting and work from. It's not anything special. Um, plus, now we put four, and that's our uh, x coordinate. Uh, mouse x uh, at eight bytes. It's mouse y. Uh, okay. Uh, then we have at which one's that? At c. C is. If I'm, am I right about the x and y here or? I make a mistake. Actually, no, I believe I got those wrong. Sorry, 4 and 8 is not our X mouse. Um, so these, uh, our X mouse should be at 4.4. Uh, sorry, uh, 4, 8, and C is our X, Y, and Z. So I'm just going to go 4 is our X pause, uh, 8 is our Z pause, and uh, C is at our. Y pause. Obviously, C because it's A plus four bytes again, and that's our X, Y, and Z coordinates. Uh, and then we have at. Let's just check this again. Uh, if we go up, so let's say we go there, cross. So ten is our um, <coughs> ten is our uh, X mouse. Oops, where is it? Yeah, so ten is our X mouse. And uh, 14, I assume, is our Y mouse. So let's just, I'm just going to confirm this again quickly. Go back into the game. Uh, do, uh, hopefully, I haven't found a street. There, there you go. So uh, 14 is our Y mouse. Excellent. Yeah, we've got all we need. And then we've got at uh, C4, you remember, is our health. That's what we, um, so C4, for, I'm going to stop trying to save this. You guys should probably save the file. Yeah, so I'm going to so save this here. I did this previously just to test and me one address. I'm just going to save it here. It doesn't matter. 
Uh, we'll save the enemy values afterwards as well. So that's, I believe, all we need. So we've got our position um, as in X, Y, and Z. We've got our mouse, which is what we're going to need to overwrite in the game, and our health, because we don't want the aimbot to aim unless we're alive, okay? And that's all we need there. And in most games, the enemy's thingy will be exactly the same. So once we find the enemy's um, base, then we, we know these values will be the exact same thing. Uh, even though we won't need these two, but there you go. So, um, let's go for health reduce scan again until finally. So, we found the health, uh, we've dissected the uh, address. Okay. Uh, okay, so we've got the base ID. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do the second part of this, which is um, so we can close this now because we've got the information that we need. Um, make sure you do not lose those, uh, those values there. And yeah, I'm just going to do a quick stop to make sure this is recording okay so um, I have to obviously restart the um, the game in order to um, start recording again because uh, otherwise it will just record the game so oops. Um, so uh, I'm just gonna restart the game where I've got the folder no 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 files requires you shop in so we're just gonna restart the game again just batch file there I'm gonna close these two because every time uh, you run the game there's a batch file that doesn't close itself once the game closes so you kinda have to close it yourself if you like or just keep it on it doesn't matter okay so we go back into the game now we're gonna get our enemy's address okay and this is a tiny bit more difficult but not really um, so we're gonna have a single player uh, I'm gonna go back to cheat engine and attach this attach this bad boy again uh, yes always say yes to keep the current address list now one thing you'll see here uh, so uh, hang on a second so da -da -da -da. Why is there zero there, you fucking asshole? Oh, sorry, my bad for swearing. Uh, I was getting a little bit scared that we got the wrong pointer there, but we didn't. It just points to the um, the thingy. Now I'm just going to do a quick check here just to confirm with you guys. So remember this was F4 before? I believe it was F4. So if we change that to F4, we get our health. So we move that to 101. There you go, that's our health again. So we're going to bring it back down to 30 because that's the beginning of our coordinates. Just so you know, we know what we're doing. So as you can see, I've restarted the game and my values are still the same. Yours will be also. So I'm going to start a new game. Uh, hopefully you guys can follow me here. So bot deathmatch, bad, choose them to be bad because that's usually what I do. And I'm going to do this on Dows, which is my favorite map uh, because it's really out in the open. And um, so here you go, this is the guy. So first thing you want to scan for is their health. So let's look for their health. So 100, which the game just started. It's only you guys versus him. He hasn't shot himself, so that means he's got 100 health. So you shoot him a little bit, um, and I'm going to show you here. Now, what you want to be doing really is saying uh, scan for decreased value. Uh, so you don't know how much health he's got. So hopefully, want any of those values will be him. Uh, and there you go. This is the one that it is because I just killed him. This changed to a very weird number. So as you can see, whilst he was dead, it changed to a weird number. So if I move him up to let's say a thousand now, it'll be very difficult to kill him, and he's going to kill me most likely. Um, so I just pump bullets into him, uh, whichever ones I'm hitting him with. Uh, anyways, yeah, so as you can see, he's got 600 health. I only took about 400. Um, actually, I want to go after him and kill his ass. Actually, I've got to stop messing around. So what we're going to use for this method is a pointer scan. Now, um, you can also always use the same method I used before, find out why access is this address. But... Um, from what I did earlier, you can't actually, well, I'm sure you can, but I wasn't able to find it by using this method, so I prefer to use the pointer scan method, which is very good, and especially good for those of you that are going to try this on games that um, have got many addresses, like newer games, like uh, obviously Modern Warfare 3, etc. Actually, Modern Warfare 3 is the worst example, probably Battlefield 3, that would be difficult as hell to do this in. Um, so I'm going to show you here. Now, what I want to throw in out there is that... Um, if you guys want me to, I will make a, a tutorial after this, fully focused on pointer scans. I know some of you guys like me to go, you know, into specifics about things sometimes. So if you want me to, I'll do one. What I'll do next is, if you don't understand that very well, if you want me to, I'll do one dedicated to pointer scans. It'll probably only be about 10 minutes, but it will be useful stuff indeed. So, um, what we're going to do is going to go pointer scan to the, for this address, and you've got a lot of things here, you don't have to worry about anything. Uh, pretty much. Uh, obviously, if you've got a, an older computer with uh, probably just dual core, you want to say you only want two th thread scanning. Uh, mine's a quaddy. Uh, it's nothing too special, but um, hopefully, I can put everything I've got into it. Um, so I just want to okay that, um, keep everything the same. And here, um, I'm just going to delete these bad boys. Um, 
because this was from my testing earlier, you don't have to worry about these. And just write one. Now we're gonna do you have to basically save this file somewhere for it to work. And I stored it and I saved it as I just called it one. And just wait now until it scans the game fully. Now some new 